Hello everyone, welcome to Dave the Diver, a marine adventure set in the mysterious blue hole. A brand new game where you can explore the sea with Dave by day and run a sushi restaurant at night. We can uncover the secrets of the blue hole and you can even unwrap this deep sea mystery with three of your friends, each with distinct personalities. A new adventure awaits. This game is something that I've been looking for for a long, long time. I love the ocean, you know, obviously, there's a clue with my name, Sharky Games. I do love sharks, I do love the ocean and exploring the ocean. I'd never do it in real life though, because it terrifies me. But there's something so fascinating and mysterious about the ocean to me, and I love games where you get to explore that. And obviously this game is very similar to what we're playing, you know, a pixel graphic game, indie, and uh, when you explore the ocean, you can go in and forage for all of your ingredients, you know, go fishing, and then at night time, you run a restaurant, a sushi restaurant where you can cook and serve, so it's a little bit of both, and the idea of that game to me sounds incredible. This video is a paid, a sponsored video. The developers reached out asking if I could cover this game, and I had no hesitation because this looks incredible, and I know at least Half of you are going to love this. If you want to learn more about the game, there'll be links down below in the description. Thank you so much for the developers for working with me, supporting the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one that I'm about to show you because I think this is going to be a blast. Let's get into a new game. And here we go. This is Cobra. And obviously we play as a character called Dave. Oh Dave, you got here quickly. There we are. We're a scuba diver in the day. <laughs> a new job. Well, I was told to hurry here. I was on vacation, you know. So where's the sushi at? <laughs> Don't rush yourself. Have a look around. Look at this giant blue hole. I've never seen anything like this. So this must be like a special like fishing area, a special spot that goes deep down. It's not just the size. Every time you enter the giant blue hole, the terrain and ecology changes, which means this could be an incredible business opportunity. What kind of business? Well, we can discuss that later. I heard you took a break from diving. How about warming up? So we used to be a diver, was on vacation. I'll guide you from here. Go ahead and go in. I don't have a good feeling about this. So there we go, a sushi bar by the blue hole. So the sushi bar's in the back there. And obviously whatever we find in the ocean, all the fish, we're gonna cook it up and sell it. So let's dive in. Our first adventure. And here we go. Wow, this is beautiful. Nice form. All right, how about try stretching out a bit? Try moving to the marked area. With shift, you can move quickly. Remember that this speeds up oxygen consumption. Yeah, so we do get oxygen here at the bottom left. You can see the depth. Uh, we can go fast, but it's going to use more oxygen. And yeah, this is uh, oh, this is so good. I'll skip the tutorial. We do get a dagger as well because there's going to be some horrible things down here that we'll have to fight. We've got a little knife, look. And then we've got a harpoon. And we can catch fish. Bang! Ho oh, ho! Fishing underwater, we've got a sea goldie. There we go, we've got three different fish. Oh, there's Nemo. <laughs> Nemo's with Dory. I think that should get you back on uh, track in no time. All right, come back up to the boat. So that was the little tutorial there. Right, we got the hang of it. You love sushi, right? Yeah, for sure. The soft fish meat with oily rice. Oh man, that's just the best. I mean, I love eating, but I don't know about a thing about cooking. Nothing to worry about, the restaurant is all ready. All you need to do is dive to get the ingredients. Doesn't sound too bad, right? Okay, we'll accept this. So I can eat as much sushi as I want? <laughs> yeah, sure. You have to pay though. Can't wait to check it out. The sushi restaurant next to the blue hole. It was supposed to open tonight, but I'm not sure if it's ready. Let's have a chat at the restaurant. So then, if you want to go back to the restaurant, you go to the boat. And then drive over to the sushi bar. So here is the restaurant. Hey, Bancho, are we all ready to open? Here he is. As you can see, it's ready just in time. Oh, it's already finished? Yeah. Are you the fisherman Cobra was talking about? Well, I'm more of a diver than a fisherman. All right, anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Bancho. So do you like sushi? I sure do. Tuna belly, eel, sea urchin. Oh boy, just thinking about it makes my mouth water. Just as mediocre as expected. Sushi is a food that combines the soul of the sea and land. It symbolizes Mother Nature herself. Oh no. Oh, there's an earthquake. Look at the water. The sushi bar. Oh, the restaurant's destroyed. Are oh, we gonna have to fix this up? Oh no, look at it. This is not good. Uh, an earthquake? Mm, the interior is really quite a mess. 
Yeah, it looks like we will have to delay the opening today. You know what? I spent all my money getting this restaurant ready. I'll have to recover the repair costs through doing business. In this state? Huh. In the end, the importance of a restaurant is the taste. First, we need ingredients. Did you bring anything? Well, I have something I just caught. Free fish. This won't be nearly enough to serve the guests. We need seven more. All right. You will need to get me the best quality ingredients during the day. Okay. So there we go. We need to reopen, relaunch. But we need more fish anyway. So prepare sushi ingredients. All right. Let's go dive. Now we can explore properly. We need to make 100 gold to repair it and then get seven more ingredients, seven more fish. Let's see what we can find. Right, there's some new fish down here. Giant blue hole. Right, okay, what's, is this a new one? A pyramid butterfly fish, all right. Right, look, what's this here? Ooh, a blue seashell, we'll take that. Is there anything else further down here? No, I don't think so, there's some jellyfish there. I think they might sting. I don't think we're going to catch those. What's these little things here? Can we catch one of them? Yeah, we can. A, co a coma? Okay. A pyramid butterfly fish again. Okay. We want some new ones. We need different ones, right? Oh, jellyfish. Oh, there's another seashell. <gasps> is that some treasure? Right. Depth is about 25 meters. Can we catch these? Let's have a look. Okay, it hurts some. Oh, it stings the hurt. Okay, we've got to be careful. Oh, we got a barrel jellyfish. So you can attack them. They will die. Ow. Nice. Guys, but look at this here. We've got wood. Okay, so this is some... Maybe we've got a craft with this. Right, oxygen's 49, so you can... Oh, there's another shell there. I mean, need to make sure we get that one. A brown seashell. 46 left. Okay, let's take a look around this way. I don't want to go further down. We have to upgrade all of our kit before we go deep, deep, deep. And that's going to be scary as well. We've still got 43 oxygen. We can't speed up too fast. <gasps> look at them. They are big fish. I want that. Oh my god! Too heavy? And these pink ones as well. We got it! A sea goldie. I want this. Oh, I think they're too heavy. Oh, we've got a space bar! Oh my god, they are hard to catch. No, it's swimming away. Come back! Oh my god, we got it! The red toothed trigger fish? Oh, they, that is big. Right, we've got 29 left. But if you look down here, there's like a little oxygen uh, tank we can fill up. Back up to the top. So we'll see these around. Oh my god, there's some crazy fish down here. What is. Oh my. Is that a puffer fish? Oh no. Oh, it hurts. Uh, sea urchin. Uh, we can't pick it up with this glove. Okay, we're gonna need something different, right? Oh, we're gonna have to fight this thing, aren't we? There's some treasure there, though. I wonder if we can get... We've got the ingredients now. We need to go back. But I want this puffer fish. I'm wondering if we can get it. Ow! <laughs> oh, no, we're poisoned. Oh, no. That's taking... We're taking a big hit. We need to go back up. We're running out of air. Oh, my God. Return to the boat. We've got enough ingredients. <laughs> there was still so much. I saw loads of treasure there. Loads of new fish. That was insane. That's so exciting, though. I could easily spend a lot of time down there. But look, it's night time now. Looks like you've caught quite a few. At this rate, we'll make boatloads of money in no time. My, my. Would you look at the time? We have to hurry up and get things ready. Head to the sushi bar. All right. So look at this. This is our dive log. Dive number one. It was 21 degrees. The weather was sunny. It is Saturday. The, the best depth we've got was 37 meters, and we've got seven fish in one dive. That's the best. Time was four minutes. The biggest fish was the barrel jellyfish. And we've got some resources as well. We've got some wood, some like scrap metal parts, and some seashells. 
I'm guessing you can sell those, I'm not too sure. But guys, look at the fish. Pyramid butterfly, the uh, coma, a sea goldie, and this red tooth trigger fish. Wow. That's going to be good. So go to the fish tank. Wrap up your day and get things ready. Okay. You'll only be able to dive in the morning and uh, once in the morning and once in the oh. afternoon. And then obviously at the night time, you have to do the, the serving in the restaurant. So, okay. Let's go to the sushi bar. So it's evening right now. This is so cool. Uh, here we go. So now you're going to see how we can manage the sushi restaurant. And, you know, the second part to this game. Right, I think we're mostly set. It's still a bit run down, but... Okay, that's good. Here is to a great evening. Right, where do you think you're going? Didn't you hear from Cobra? You you have to help me run the sushi bar from today onwards. What? I, I don't understand. Cobra told me that there would be somebody to help with the ingredients and serving. He said all I need to do is cook. So Bancho is the, the sushi chef. We're more of a, like a, a management, you know, we do all the serving and getting the ingredients. So I wonder if we ever do cook. Wait, I've never worked at a restaurant before. Right, open the ingredients below. So, ingredients were number four. Oh, look, the jellyfish. Here you can check your fish, crops. Oh my God, we get crops as well, guys. And sauces and all of the materials that you have. For now, that's all you need to know. Come back later for more information. So look, yeah, it tells you a little bit about it as well. Wow. I'll show you how to register actual items on the menu. Oh, we've got a menu. New recipes need to be added to the menu before they can be sold to customers. There's a sushi recipe for the fish you acquired earlier. So try registering that to the menu. Okay, we'll add. So, sea goldie sushi. If you run out of ingredients, you'll have to replace items on the menu. Okay. You can also enhance the flavor of the dishes. So try it out when you have enough ingredients. Try filling the rest of the items on the menu. So the sea goldie, um, the sea goldie sushi only sells for free gold. Right, we need to pour cobra a green tea. Right. Pour the right amount. Oh, look at this. We're pouring a green tea. Perfect. Customers who drank green tea of a good or higher grade will pay more money. Let's go. That tea really got my appetite going. Is there something to eat, perhaps? So this is like the tutorial of how to do it. So as you can see, he is cooking up the sushi. We have to wait. There's going to be customers coming in. We go over there. We will grab the plate of sushi. And then we can dash quickly because we've got to get to the customers. And kind of like give it to him before he gets upset. Oh, he had to leave anyway. Okay. So if a customer leaves in time and you've not been able to serve them, you have to trash it. We can't reuse it. Okay, don't forget to press E after filling the menu for business again. So there's the menu. We can add something. So we've got free sea, sea goldie sushi. What else can we do here? Yellow tang. We've got two of those. Oh, the pyramid butterfly. Oh, the jellyfish is going to sell for a lot. 10, but we can enhance this. But you need to level it up a little bit. Oh, look at this red tooth trigger fish. We can en enhance it so that it's more tasty and you get more money for it. Look at this. We're enhancing it. You get a cool little animation. <laughs> Salt Bay. <laughs> oh, I love that. He's so cool. So it's being upgraded to level two, the red tooth trigger fish. Wow. We've not gotten on left, sadly, but. So there we go. We've got some on the, the menu there. The blue tank sells for six. That's quite good. So we need 100. We've only got minus 100 right now. So let's open. Come on. All right, guys, we're going to be serving. There's the menu up there. You see it? Come on, then. Right, what do you want? They're looking at the menu. Okay, there we go. They're cooking it up now. I'm just going to wait for Bancho here. Right, we can grab one. And you want it. There we go. Way better than I expected. Oh, yes. Right, we've got another one for you. There we go. Come on, hurry up. The blue tang. Oh, someone wants a green tea. Right, let's pour. Perfect. We'll get this sushi. We'll go down here. Come on, sprint, Dave. Faster than that. Right, green tea quickly. Oh, just. There's one for you. There's one for you. Just got to wait for this one. We're doing good, guys. We're on minus 81. So we've run out of blue tang. It's crossed off the menu. Oh, yeah, we need to fill this up as well. Right, I've got to grind it. Get it back up to 
There we go. I'm salivating. So we've only got we've only got a little bit left, really. We haven't got much. There we go. We're finished. Our first night. Bancho sushi closed. The top sales was the Pyramid Butterfly. We made 43 net profit. We got Artisan's Flame. Okay. That was amazing. Huh, work's finally done for the day. My back and legs hurt. You were a bit clumsy, but not bad for the first day. Try a little harder next time. All right, God. I suppose coming from you, that's a compliment. Whew, that was a harsh first day. But we're getting there. Oh, look at this. What's happening? Oh no. All this waste in the sea. Oh my god. A giant kraken or an octopus? Oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna have to go diving for that. We should loot all that. Look all that stuff that was around. Oh my god. I, it kind of scares me as well because I know the deeper we get, it's gonna terrify me. It's okay being quite close to the surface. I feel safe. But going further really scares me. We've got Ellie here. Hmm, are you the man who's been diving around here? Yeah, I think so. Huh, I was expecting a younger hot guy. Oh, sorry, what's wrong with Dave? <laughs> I can hear you, you know. In any case, can you do something for me? Shouldn't you tell me who you are first? I'm Ellie. I study biology at the Graduate School of University of the Philippines. I've come out to investigate after reports of anomalies in the area. Satisfied? Uh, okay, so what do you want? I'd like to study the ecology of this blue hole. Get me some uh, agar and red starfish. Okay, so we're gonna have to like do research as well. Two of each. Okay, there's a reward. So there we go, we have different missions that we need to do here. I've got a smartphone now. You can use this to access various types of content. Oh, I like that. So there's the phone. Oh, look how cool that is. So there's mail caught. Oh, this just literally looks like a real smartphone. Oh my god. Oh, the album of all the fish. You can take photos. Oh, that's cool. Right, to do. So there we go. We've still got quite a bit to do here. You can check the weather. So sunny, sunny. We've got any rain for the next three days. It's going to be clear, clear sun. All right. We've got a calculator. <laughs> wow. The small details. That's so cool. Calendar as well. Is this the real calendar? Best diving spot. Thistlegorm wreck. Oh, we need to go there. All right, guys. Let's go and do this. Let's go and finish this quest, open the sushi at night, and let's see if we can finally get the money for this as well. Let's do all these quests today. Come on, it's morning right now. Okay, so a few, has this changed? Are we in a different location? This looks different to the first time. That's super cool. But here we go, look straight away. This is a starfish, we needed one of those, we need one more. Oh, look at all this stuff we're picking up. Seashells, we've got wood. Right, is there anything else that we can pick up here? Oh, there's another puffer fish there. I did try to attack one of those. But it seems like it just poison doesn't really hurt. What's this? A yellow back. Oh my god, I don't know how to pronounce that, but that looked, that was cool. Right, is that another starfish? Okay. These are quite tough fish. They swim away quite fast. What's this little yellow one? Oh, a batfish. Oh my god, look at these. Is that salmon or something? Oh my god, is that trying to sting me? Oh my god, guys, look at the big fish. He's trying to hurt me. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at the size of these things. Oh, they're scary. They're scary. It's actually biting me. Oh my god. Oxygen tank. But it's getting defended by this, but we need to get it quick. Yeah, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. Oh my god, we're dead. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> you can only retrieve one item? Really? Oh, that was hard. I was trying to get the oxygen thing, but the, the fish was defending it. And they bite you as well. Right, it's more dangerous, yeah. So we can use the escape pod. So that was a waste of a morning dive. Oh my god. Oh, we're calling about guns. We're in need of some weapons, Duff. I need your help. Season 2 of Stella just ended anyway. I'll give you a listen. 
Alright, I actually discovered a fascinating giant blue hole. The terrain and ecology inside it changes every time you go inside. So, oh, every time you do a dive, it looks different. I was wondering why it looked different that time. Oddly, any equipment found inside breaks down when brought out. I'd like you to make us a weapon that can be used inside. That's rather interesting. This will be especially true of guns, which have precision parts. Right, enter the blue hole and bring back rope and scrap iron. Okay, you'll only be able to make it back with one item. Always keep that in mind, so that's if you uh, pass out, yeah. Okay, well it's afternoon now, so this is the only dive we can do until night time, and we've got a lot of quests to do. So we did pass out, sadly. This time I'm going to try and not do that. Got to keep an eye on the oxygen at all times. And stay away from those horrible fish. Some of the, oh, there were some big ones down there. Guys, if we see sharks, I'm going to be so terrified. Now, we do need fish as well. Right, so we've got a starfish here. We've got a seashell. Come on, let's try and get all of this without passing out. Now, this looks very similar to the first time. When we came down. Yeah, there's the jellyfish here. Oh, look, we've got some copper ore. Oh, my God. These jellyfish are stinging so hard. But I think we've got him. Right, can we find an oxygen tank to get this back up to the top? There's the escape pod down there. We've got a chest. Oh, guys, we've got a Japanese sword. Right, let's get to this. Oxygen tank here. There we go. That should fill us up quite a bit there. That should be okay. But I've got an escape pod there if all else fails. I know where it is. Right, is there anything else we can take? Look at all this stuff here. We've got another chest. Right, the depth is quite bad here. So we've got to get back to the top. Is that Nemo? We caught a Nemo fish. A clown fish. Oh, that's a hard fish to catch. Super fast. Right, get that. Right, some pink ones here. Um, another one of those. Let's get some fish as well, of course. Do need all of this. And we're chilling around the escape pod if we need it. Catch as much as we can down here. I want this fish, but he's so fast. We got it! The long fin batfish. Let's go. Right, it's a party. Right, we need these two as well, don't we? Oh, look at that massive fish down there. Oh, my God. Oh, are we heavy? Okay, escape pod. The depth's going down. We're really heavy because we've got a lot of stuff on us. So we may need to escape here. I don't think there's anything else we can do. Okay, let's do that. We don't want to pass out a game. We're using the escape pod. Quickly, come on. Run out of air, hurry up. There we go. Thank God. A quick escape. To think you'd actually manage to bring it back. I expected you to quietly expire in the depths, you could say. Huh? Seems I have underestimated you slightly. Very well. Oh, we've got the basic underwater rifle. Okay, so some of the nasty fish, especially when we go deeper, we've got some kind of underwater rifle now. That's going to be good. Okay, we can go to Duff's Weapon Shop on your phone. Okay, let's take a look at that. Weapon Shop, this is going to be interesting. We can craft it. Of course, the scrap and the rope, so we can make our own weapons here. Here we go. This is so cool. What a game this is. <laughs> okay, look at that. That is so good. Oh, one more thing. I've taken some measures to allow you to open the weapon chests underwater. Oh, weapon chests? You can't bring them out of the sea, but they can still come in handy, you could say. All right, so you can use weapons whilst down there, but you can't bring them out. But I'll collect info about the weapons you pick up and create blueprints for you. 
Weapons made with a blueprint won't break down underwater, you could say. You can craft weapons at his shop. Acquiring weapons uh, a certain number of times will complete the blueprint, which means when it's craftable, obviously, you'll never break it. So look, there's loads of different ones as well. Oh my, that's insane. So this was dive number three. <laughs> we've got the best depth. We've got the best fish obtained, 20. Uh, we caught nine, but look, we've got some resource. We've got some copper down there as well, which was uh, pretty cool. And they're the fish. That's not too bad. We got a rank three barrel jellyfish and a rank three long fin batfish. So we can now go and cook. Wrap up your day and go to the bar. Yeah, we've got. We should make some good money here. So we know what to do. We've got the menu up here. We're going to add. What can we make? Right, we'll put those on there. So if you want to upgrade a fish, you have to obviously have to use them. So if we've got six goldies, sea goldies, it's going to cost three to upgrade to level two. It doesn't change the income, but the flavor's a lot better. So I'd rather just have that as, you know, as normal sushi, to be honest. The clownfish, uh, we can enhance this. It's not really going to do anything again. So, right. The, oh, yeah, we should get that on the menu. Okay, so our best selling one here. We've got some cheap ones out there. But this batfish, the long fin one, is going to be quite good. So uh, let's open, I guess. See how much money we can make today. So the menu is up. So you can see the time going here, evening till night, so you only stay open for this amount of time. Right, green tea whilst we're waiting for that. Perfect. Okay, let's go and get these. Quick, 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 because we've got the green tea to do. Oh, Dave's tired. I don't we might miss out on this. No, we didn't. Okay, that'll do. Come on, Dave. Rush. Okay, good, good, good. Let's get the wasabi back up. We need to refill it. You can't make sushi without it, so you have to keep it topped up. And we did it. It's closed for business today. Okay, top sales was the clownfish sushi because we had quite a lot of those. And obviously there was eating it with the green tea. So the sales weren't as good as the first time we opened but we made, we made net profit of 20 we didn't really have much good value fish in there but we've still got some fish saved up for next time we need to get some better ingredients if we want to make more money but look at this it's monday the 3rd of october we still need 37 and we need to get one more of these agars for a quest i think i'm gonna have another go diving before we go to try and finish this quest here and then i'll probably wrap that one up but this is oh, so fun Okay, we've got this kind of layout again. So we need quality fish. I'm going to try and go for some really good quality ones. Right, there's a starfish. Let's keep an eye on everything. I don't want to go too deep either. The deeper you go, the more oxygen you use. And it, it can really slow you down a little bit. Oh, a weapon crate. Look at this. So we have got a shock harpoon. Okay, so it just shocks them. It doesn't work on jellyfish, though. Of course it won't. I'll get a little bit of this jellyfish. Ow. So there's the weight at the bottom. We're already at nearly 3 kg. We can only carry 9. Okay, let's go. I need to try and find the things that we need. Maybe these big ones down here look quite good as well. Okay, black and white snapper. I'll take that. This shock one seems really good. But here we go. This is what we need. We need one of those. There we go. We finished that one. Okay, the depth's quite high. We need to get this and then get out of here. What we got? Okay, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oxygen tank's over here. I'm going to see if I can get it in time. See if we can fill up. Okay, we're okay. But look, we've got a gun now as well. This is insane. Oh my god, it's actually really easy to use this. What the hell? You just aim and shoot. Wow. Does it change the rank? 
Maybe the rank's not as good, I don't know. Can we go around this way? What's this here? Is that ammo? This is the furthest we've ever gone. What are they? Yellow Tang. <gasps> Look at that big one. I'm gonna... I'm gonna shoot him, guys. One shot kill! Oh my god. We're carrying too much, though. Again, look how much we're carrying. So that might mess with our oxygen here. 13 kg. It's making us really slow. I need the emergency pod. I think it's just down here. Okay, we've got to go. We've got to get out of here quick. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. The weight really slows you down. That was close. We nearly died. Luckily, I get to keep all my stuff. Oh, we got attacked by a fish as well. Oh, that was close. I think we get to keep all of that. We was carrying so much there. The weight was really <laughs> hurting him. But we did the quest for Ellie as well. Okay, you actually brought them back. I guess I expected too little of you. But I give you a re reward uh, since you helped my research. So what do we get? I have my number. Oh, olive oil, soy sauce, and gold. So this is ingredients. Oh my god, that's going to add flavor. You've collected 100 gold. Yes, great job. This could be enough to repair what's broken. Oh, give me some time. These repairs need to be done right. I really hope the customers keep coming. Guys, we did both of those missions. Exactly what I wanted to do. This was a good one. We nearly had five minutes of dive time there. We caught 12. 21 degrees. Okay, dive number four. We've got some resources again, which you can use to craft with. And look at the fish. We've got a new one that we've never caught. The black and white snapper. And also, we actually caught one of the titan triggerfish. The nasty ones. Shot it and got it. Um, we only got one. So I think using the gun gives you a bad quality of fish. Maybe, I don't know. Or it doesn't seem to give you as much meat when you catch it on the hook or with the harpoon. But that's pretty good. We still had the afternoon one. But guys, I think I'm going to end that one there. That has been a first look at Dave the Diver. A marine adventure. Almost like a farm RPG. Sushi restaurant. Management. It's a little bit of everything, you know, exploring, gathering your resources, crafting. It's super cool. I highly recommend it. Check it out down below. I am having a blast with this, and I'm definitely going to keep playing this. This is my kind of game. It's my cup of tea, this one. Let me know your thoughts on it in the comments. I'd love to hear your feedback on this one. Have you already played it? Have you had your eyes on it? Would you give it a go? Is it something that you'd enjoy yourself? And let me know if you want to see more of this. I'm happy to do some more videos on this game. This is up there with one of my uh, games that I enjoy quite a lot at the moment. Subscribe if you want to see more videos similar to this and lots of games similar to this. Thank you all so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe and stay cozy.